In this video, I'm gonna go over all tools you need for your roofing business. On this channel, we have made over 700 videos in five years, crazy statistic over the years. When I look at it, we have a big library and I review quite a few products, but reality is I'm a minimalist when it comes to business. And I'm gonna give you 10 tools in this video, what I think every contractor should have in their tool bag. Some of them are digital, some of them are something you install on your computer and use daily on your desktop. But those tools you need to survive and to be profitable in a roofing business in 2023. You also have to be careful because there are a lot of platforms who interfere with each other. And what I see contractors are doing, they're signing up for similar platforms, similar solutions to the same problem. And uh, at the end, wasting a lot of money, it increases your overhead. You don't need it all. The moment you open your business filed at LLC, you get to get bombarded by marketers, by uh, providers from the industry, different vendors who will look at you as a milking cow and will try to get your dollar to do business with them. Uh, some of them going to be on a recurring revenue. Some of them will be uh, one-time purchases, but you will get pitched a lot. People will try to get your attention. I mean, if you go to Roofing Expo, you're going to see 1,100 vendors. How do you know who is good, who is bad? Like, that's why for our conference, we're limited to 90. We don't want to overwhelm you. And here at Roofing Insights, my mission is to recommend the good products and call out the bad ones. You don't need it all. Like, and I'll tell you about a few products in this video that you don't need and you try to stay out of. By the way, all of our recommendations you can find at roofinginsights.com. We update that list on a regular basis. If you're the vendor and you feel and believe that you have the product or tool that all contractors need, reach out to us and we'll let you know how we can add your product to roofinginsights.com. We have about 17,000 uh, unique visitors per month and our roofers and our homeowners do visit the site as an educational entertaining platform and they do ask us for recommendations. So we want to recommend you help us to help you. Let's go over the list what you need for your business. Number one, you have to present yourself uh, well, presentation tool. I recommend something like SumaQuote. There's a few other players. SumaQuote is amazing. You can build your own presentation, but no matter what you do, you have to have a slideshow. When you're in the front of the homeowner, you have to show them your company story, your products that you do, and it cannot be just mailing or uh, printing estimates. It's way more than just the price when it comes to a roofing job. So present yourself well. Number two, you need tracking your activity app. It can be something like Lead Scout. If you do canvassing or door knock, and if you work in a neighborhood or you're on any kind of marketing campaign, you need to know your neighborhoods. You need to dominate those neighborhoods and you need to know how many jobs, how many activities you actually can get from uh, your referral list. So something like Lead Scout, Sales Rabbit is another one where we don't have a partner here, but you get the idea. If I would do the business today, I would make sure I track activity or give a tool to my sales guys to track their activities. Number three, supplements. These are not the supplements you take when you work out to, for your muscles to grow. These are the supplements that you send to insurance companies to grow your profits in your business. So if you are a retail contractor and you don't have in-house Xactimate expert, I recommend you find a partner. We do have one listed at roofinginsights.com, Estimate Experts. I highly recommend check them out. So if you are a roofing contractor and every once in a while you get to work with insurance company, but you don't know how to write Xactimate, you don't know what insurance paperwork they are requesting from you, or if you work with their estimate, but you don't know what are you missing, call estimate experts and let them add what's missing in that estimate. They're prefer they're truly experts. I'm very impressed with them. There's a few other companies in the market who does similar services. No matter who you use, you have to use someone to supplement insurance companies because insurance companies on average shorten their claims by 30, 40%. And if you use someone like estimate experts, you're saving money and you add in profits. No brainer. I love their business model. They're one of the best companies uh, when it comes to user experience, but also with the price because some supplements companies charge way too much and just doesn't make financial sense to use. But these guys, I recommend. Number four, you have to have a CRM. Obviously, you already know if you follow this channel for a while that we do recommend Job Nimbus. 
With the CRMs, though, uh, they all work if you work them. So it doesn't matter if you use IQLinks, Job Progress. You have to have a CRM. You cannot be profitable in business without CRM. Number five, you have to have a solid website partner. Uh, I made a video a couple of weeks ago about um, websites, and I said that you don't need professional website first year in business. You need a basic website. It's not going to make or break you in a first business. But as you grow, you need a partner. You need someone who understands your business, have your best interest in mind, who can absolutely help you grow on Google, generate leads, not just gonna take your money and run with it, uh, charge you monthly without doing work. Like for example, John Paramore is out of business, by the way, and he still charges contractors and he doesn't even produce any, uh, anything anymore. And we have quite a few players like that in the industry who takes your money and don't do the work. Don't hire those guys. We're not afraid to call them out. We wanna recommend you the good website builders and we will always list them at roofinginsights.com. And if you do business with the companies that we list, we will help you with disputes. So if you hire, for example, hook agency who we recommend and you have a dispute with them, let us know and we will talk to both parties, see what we can improve in that communication. Number seven, these days you have to have a recruiting partner. For me, honestly, it's LinkedIn. Uh, back in the day, we use Indeed, we use ZipRecruiter and others, but you need to have one app or to-go place where you're going to find people, people for your office, salespeople. Obviously, you should rely on referrals. Uh, people who already work for you should be bringing more people, sales guys talk and office people talk. Every time you need to hire someone, if you have good work environment, people will be referring people, but still, you need a platform. You need to go, like if I need to create an ad today, where that ad is going. Because there's like 100 different options here. Uh, for me, again, we're gonna go on LinkedIn, drop an ad and start going through applications. But it's a little bit different because now we're hiring videographers and uh, graphic designers, not roofing salespeople. But for you, it could be indeed, you still have to have account, you still have, uh, have to have professional portfolio there. Why would, it could be Glassdoor, whatever it is, do the research and find something for recruiting needs. Number eight, you have to figure out your financing. Uh, if you're in the roofing business, you're gonna deal with it a lot. A lot of people cannot uh, afford brand new roof. Even if it's insurance claim, you still have to at least offer or talk to them about financing options. You will be amazed how many people still gonna write you a check later, but they would consider financing in the first place. Obviously we recommend Enhancify, it's on our website. Go to their website. Um, through our affiliation, save a few dollars on the sign up or whatever. Uh, and I work with a lot of contracts. We have one right now in uh, Orlando who financed $260,000 with Enhancify. So it doesn't matter who you use, you just have to have a finance a partner in this business. Number nine, you need app or tool for maps for hail. If you're in storm restorations and you do chase storms, you need maps. I recommend hail trace, but there's other options as well. Uh, you need a map and tool. And number 10, in 2023, you don't want to be climbing roofs, measuring them by hand. You need a measuring tool. I recommend Roofer. It's probably one of the cheapest, $10, $15 report, whatever the price is. Uh, haven't checked them lately. I don't have affiliation with them, but I do recommend them. Eagle View is a little bit overpriced, but some people like and use Eagle View. It's um, a little bit more sophisticated. There are a few other players in the market like RoofScope and iRoofing and a few others, but regardless, you just have to have one in your tool belt. Comment below which one you use to measure your roofs. Comment below which tools I did not mention, but you must have them to be successful in this business. And if you're the vendor, reach out to us to be listed on our website uh, of recommended vendors by Roofing Insights. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you got any value out of this video.